All right, let's move on. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. What was that? What? Now you're mine! Should I help him? Well, let's help him actually, again. all these. I hope I can sell some stuff in Riverwood. Let's go on. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Well, the last time I've met your general, he wanted to chop my head off. Aren't most of them Imperials wimps, anyway? What? I said most of them. I'll keep it in mind. I just want to make sure I don't end up on a gallows the next time I run into them. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. My parents actually never believed in Draugr when I was a child. They always thought it was just a scam to keep people away from dangerous ruins. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. I'll stick with the warrior stone, of course. Warrior, good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Master of the Arcane. My brother would probably have chosen this path. Always had interest in, let's say, mystical. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pardon. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, all right? That's exactly what I had in mind. you decided to come with me. 
We're almost to Riverwood. I hope that's not a tricky Imperial move or something, where he tries to trap me in Riverwood. I have to be careful. The chance that a dragon will save me from death again is quite small. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? Uncle Alvar, hello. It was as big as the mountain and black as Alvar. night. It, it flew what right over the barrel. Here? Are you on leave? Dragons from now, is it? Sure. Please, my bones. If you what keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. Shh. Are you insane? And I've got the better Stop. things to Keep do your voice down. I'm fine. Places. But we should go inside to talk. See. It was a dragon. What's going on? It'll kill us all and, and who's then you'll this? believe me. She's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything. But we need to Greetings. go Greetings. Okay, okay. Come inside, then. Sigrid will get you something to eat. And you can tell me all about it. Well, then let's get inside. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scorn. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's... Ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. How do I get to Whiterun from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. 
You support the Empire, then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Zelisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. I. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Well, I'd Don't better get back to cousin. work. You two make yourselves at home. Okay, so Whiterun is my next destination. But first I have to visit the local trader. I can hardly carry these stuff anymore. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. Hi, how you could? You? Just I've got some coin coming in from my I last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. What a matcher. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I am sorry that you were robbed, but fortunately you were not hurt. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. 
He's a tricky one. I bet he stole it from someone else, but let's not tell her. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Okay, thanks again for your help. I think I will go to Whiterun first, and tell the Jarl about the dragon attack. I should hurry a bit, maybe. So, this is Whiterun. As a child, I often heard that it was the most beautiful city in Skyrim. To be honest, it looks more like a fortress from the outside. Then, let's go to town. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, sister. What is a shield, sister? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane, up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. What the hell? Thanks for the help, shield sister. Greetings, brother. Hi, how are you? Could be better. See you.
Sky Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laureus farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. <laughs> Your hands only. Let's see well, here. Looks like that's like it. You've had quite the got journey, to go. Utka. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? The thought did cross my mind, yes. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, that now jesters? Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullvar. I'll remember that. <laughs> Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. You think you can't take me on? And why not? I could beat anyone in this city. Barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. You're on. Why don't you come back when you actually have a hundred gold? You must really love to fight. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That, and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. Good. Chat time's over. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. You better keep an eye on the bandits out there. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it you want to hear a little I'll Nord wisdom? Job, don't you don't really me. know a woman till you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Keep walking, Softgut. I'm more woman than you can handle. Just wait until I have the 100 gold pieces. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. What can you tell me about Whiterun? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Stay sharp. afford it it took me weeks to find that thieves den I can't stop now and I can't get the sword on my own so you're willing to stop tree here is quite massive must have some, some significance for the sword? city hmm. we I will probably find one, out maybe two good men but for now let's go to the Yarl's palace 
You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I will be here. So caution. We cannot afford to act rashly in times like this. Though, this is Dragon's Reed. Looks quite impressive, to be honest. If the news from Kelton is true, well, there's no telling what it means. I only counsel caution. Well, we let's meet the yard. Rashly in times like these. 